Well guys, it's another rainy day in Vancouver. So I thought today I would uh, talk about um, my favorite YouTubers. Um, so I think that's something that's interesting. I always like to hear what other people like in terms of what they watch. Um, so let's get to it. Um, the uh, the website cheaprvliving.com is a is a really good website for people that are into van dwelling and RVing, and um, I like it a lot. And the creator of that website is uh, a fellow named Bob Wells. Uh, Bob Wells is a great guy. He's got a great heart, and you can just tell he's a really wonderful human being. Him and another guy, James, I don't know James's last name, um, they started uh, working together to create a YouTube channel called Enigmatic, Enigmatic Fanatics. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. And if you haven't seen that uh, website or you're not, or that YouTube channel, if you're not subscribed to it, definitely check it out. That is my fan belt, which I need to get tightened pretty quickly. Um, anyway, that uh, YouTube channel is absolutely fantastic. They have uh, very thorough um, videos on a number of topics, including um, uh, propane heaters. Um, I can't even begin to Cover, talk, talk about all the stuff they talk about. I mean, it's, it's really, really useful. If you're living in a van or you're thinking about living in a van, definitely check them out or an RV. Another one I, I like, uh, so the, these guys that I'm talking about, these YouTube channels, these are the ones that if I see them in my feed uh, and I have time, I'll watch those ones right away. These guys, the names that I'm mentioning because I find them um, not only... Um, entertaining but uh, very uh, uh, knowledgeable or or at least I always get uh, I always get something out of watching the videos of the YouTube channels I'm about to say now I don't watch every single one of every single uh, subscriber because if I don't really if I'm not really interested in what they're talking about um, then I don't watch it and you know I think that's Part for the course, and I expect that would be the same with my channel. Um, yeah. So another guy I like to watch is uh, Will Burson. I, I I think he's one of the first ones I started watching a couple of years ago, and uh, he's got some uh, great videos. Really nice guy. You can tell he's a great guy. And um, him and I have a lot in common because we have the same diet. We're both vegans, um, and we both live in a van. <laughs> And uh, he's a fairly intelligent person. I really enjoy watching his stuff. Um, another guy that I've been watching, he's just got a, a new channel of his own, is uh, Minivan Vince. And um, he's recently separated from his, uh, I don't know if he calls him ex-wife now, but his former wife. And um, now he's living in a, a Honda Odyssey minivan. And... Uh, Another great guy. You could tell he's got a good heart and very empathetic and a fantastic person. And he's got some interesting ideas about living in a minivan, which until I watched his channel, I was like, yeah, I don't think I could do that. But I think I could if I really had to. I could go do the minivan. It would be tough, but um, I could do it. The key is not to stay in it for very long, not to be in it for too long of a time. Um, of course, uh, we all know Justin Incredible. He's a local guy in my area, and uh, he's usually in North Vancouver. And uh, I like his videos too. Him and I are, I gotta say, pretty much diametrically opposed politically. Everything that he's for, I'm against, and everything he's against, I'm for. <laughs> for example, he has a sticker in his wall that says, I heart the, uh, the oil sands. Um, we have the oil sands in Alberta that. That are, I think, are a national tragedy. Yes, they make money, but at what cost? It's 
very dirty energy and it, I think it's a shame that um, Canada is getting making revenue off such a dirty energy source anyway I'm not gonna get into all that but he's a great guy and I think he has a lot of insights and useful knowledge about living in a van um, let's see who else I also like um, line screw one he's another guy's nice guy and um, I, I often watch his videos and I wish they're a little bit longer you know the two-minute videos I, uh, I'm always like, oh, I wish that was longer. As I really enjoy his style, and you can, you can tell he puts a lot of work into his videos. And uh, he told me personally that he has to pay royalties on the music that he has playing on his YouTube channel. And I'm not that committed. I, I'm not going to pay royalties. I guess I probably should. If I was using copyright material. Um, so that's another guy, uh, Line Screw One, great guy. Um, now there's Chris and G Travels uh, with Chris Penn. They uh, go to Alaska every year. Um, he's taught me a lot of stuff about making the right choice of a vehicle. I know, I mean, he came from a, a Class B Explorer, I think it was Explorer, an older one, and he uh, went into a, a Class A. And I know he's got G, or is that, that's short for Gina, I'm pretty sure. And um, you know, she wanted something bigger than the van. I mean, that's understandable. But man, seeing all the challenges they went through with all the, the breakdowns and problems, that's one of the reasons I like to stick with stuff that's simple. No plumbing, no toilet, um, no shower, no tanks to empty, nothing to break. It's just simple is better. That's kind of my philosophy of life. Anyway, I really enjoy uh, their channel a lot, and I, I love their tours they do. Speaking of like uh, an RV shows and stuff, speaking of another guy, he's not that. I mean, I, I think he's known, but he's not that well known. I, I wish his. I thought I wish he was more popular. Is um, a British guy named Alan Heath. He has a lot of great videos, and uh, he has a he does a lot of tours of RVs on his channel, and uh, definitely check him out. And there's something about him, I don't know what it is, but I find his videos very relaxing. And just the, his way that he talks, I, I love his videos. Absolutely love it. There's another guy who's Irish. He doesn't make videos anymore, but... Um, and I, if I think of his name, I'll put it... Uh, in fact, I'll put it on the text below in this video, but I love his videos. He's only made maybe a half a dozen videos, maybe ten. But... Um, He's just got such a calm demeanor, and uh, I love it. I'm, I'm into that. So let's see, who else? There's a there's a guy named um, Brian, and he's uh, goes by the uh, username Adventure Van Man. I really enjoy his channel too. He's he's uh, he's in just a regular cargo van, and keeps things simple. And he's doing the uh, nomadic traveling around um, and uh, filming his adventures. I like his stuff a lot as well. There's also a Canadian couple, Shelby and Simon, um, that I don't know if they're going to stay full time forever, but they're doing a cross cross continent trip. They're going through the states and they went through Canada. And uh, I like that Simon guy a lot. He's uh, very intelligent, uh, interesting character, and I always find those kind of people interesting. Worthwhile to watch. Um, another Canadian couple, uh, they go by the name Exploring Alternatives. And uh, they have a very simple setup. Um, and I think they basically, I think they park their van for eight, three months of the year. They, they don't, they take winters off, but um, yeah, they do a very well produced uh, video channel and uh, it's really worthwhile watching. I always watch their stuff. Another one um, that you might be interested in, uh, you're probably already aware of, is uh, Kirsten Dirksen. Uh, she is affiliated with Fair Companies and she does a lot of tiny house stuff, alternative 
uh, housing and um, I love her stuff she does great stuff she goes all over the world Europe Japan um, America of course and she she puts she has very well produced videos and I always enjoy her stuff all right guys I think that co about covers it there's probably some other ones that I missed that I would like to mention I, I just can't think of them at this moment but I don't know if you found that helpful or useful but uh, check out cheaprvliving.com if you if you haven't heard of it uh, it's very useful for people that live in their vans or, or camper vans or or RVs another website that I find very useful is um, reddit.com backslash back slash van dwellers uh, the guys on cheap RV, RV living tend to be older I'm guessing I think the majority of them are are older like maybe 40 to 50 and above and uh, the guys on reddit van dwellers are uh, I'm pretty sure it's the younger crowd a lot of computer programmers and, and people that are living more more on the edge I guess you could say I mean maybe that's not true but I get a feeling that they're younger and, and uh, that's a great website too lots of information and lots of passion for the lifestyle anyways guys I hope that you found that useful take care and have yourself a good night